All right, people. I got another one from Brandon Buckingham. I was experiencing some technical difficulties just now, but I feel like the volume, well, no, the, the audio should be good now. Uh, But this time, bro's in Houston in the red light district. And if it's anything that I know about red light districts, we bound to see some big booty H-O-E-S dogs. Come on, man. If you could spell $50, if you could, sp if you could tell me what I just spelled. Don't say it. Say it in front of your grandma. End of this video, we had a close run in with the ops. Not a op. A, a dumb up that want to get shot up. Bissonette track. Bissonette Street in Southwest Houston. Houston's infamous Bissonette track. We've heard about the Bissonette track far too often. We on Bissonette, as y'all can see. Welcome to A Leaf in Houston, Texas, home of Bissonette Street, the most notorious red light district in the South. This area has become famous for rampant prostitution and human trafficking. So famous Frosties. that a movie was created recounting a woman's experience Noise. living there. Just weeks after filming this video, Bissonette Street was shut down from 10 p.m. until 5 a.m. in an effort to stop illegal activity. He and his team are taking a different approach. Which one you in the track know about prosties, man? I know y'all know about prosties. On what's known as the Bissonette track. Now, come with me. If you say you don't. Rapper, D Flowers, who was born and raised in Aleph, so we can experience firsthand life on Bissonette. Never leave broke. <laughs> That's a wicked oh, intro. All right, check this out, you guys. We're pulling up on a That's a wicked intro. Run. I Bissonette like that. Right now, a legendary area. Show you guys what this place is like. Our first time well, out here, bro. In particular, good to meet you, my guy. Yeah. Now, flowers as we speak. E flowers. Now with my boy Brandon Buckingham, Mr. Buckingham himself. So you all on Bissonette? That's this cross street that's that's running right here. When you go to the that's side, a real so voice. Bissonette, that's when you get into this the is lifestyle of the up Bissonette in itself. You know what I mean? You know, you might see, see a motherfucker. You, you might see a motherfucker. You might see some Mike It just depends. I just see some some some, some bad <laughs> out there. Excuse my language. You know how that go. A lot of people from around this way either pick up some drugs or pick up a pistol. Drugs, pistol. Or some pussy. So what is it about Bissonette that makes it? Or some so what? Like what was Bissonette. the last option? Honestly, this is one of the biggest prostitution streets in the whole city of Houston. Actually, one of the biggest. Oh, he actually say streets. streets. I thought he was going to say streets. You want to buy some? Excuse my language. Everyone knows. Come to Bissonette. So let, let me get some All right. right. The blade, <laughs> All right, right? brothers. Bissonette Street. My boy B Buck, he talking about the blade, and that's exactly what this is. Right now, y'all on the blade. So the lady ain't get. Even when it's early, I'm talking about rain, sleet, or snow, you can see up. Excuse my language. They are out here in tights and tighty whities and everything you can think of. Oh, but yeah. But you would prefer to come out here around like nighttime if you was personally purchasing some punani. Quick vocabulary lesson. The blade okay, is where okay, the okay. prostitutes okay. hang out. The What's punani, the though? Prostitutes, and a trick or a john is someone who purchases prostitutes. A trick or a john. I remember being a kid in elementary riding up and down the street with my mom, seeing, like, older women in tights and panties out here basically why it's hot as hell we like ew her butt is out look at her yeah y'all see this and y'all see the <laughs> being sold and y'all see a couple dollars we see this and they some see good kids because when i was a kid i, I was horny as hell hold on i'm still horny as hell i had to see my mama on and off this and that when it comes to pulling up when it comes to being on foot we had to i would have seen them cheese and be like dang that's AT, damn, that's my mama on the blade making her money. Yeah. Then by the time you go to high that school, you fat. Some girls that we actually know personally out here, you know what I mean? People that we went to school with. So. Is that like the equivalent of like hopping off the porch for women? Like Exactly. You literally just said it, bro. Like some of these girls, they haven't experienced no honest way of making money. And when they tried, it wasn't nowhere near what they could make in a few minutes dealing with a stranger. They don't know no other way, you know well, what I mean? Could, you could go work, uh, you know, a 20 hour shift for over a weekend at the Kmart, make the same money you can make in 30 minutes, like sucking some dude up. You hear me? And oh crap. Chill. Trust and believe. They would rather fruit snack some dick. <laughs> then, then, then go and wake, sell fruit snacks at Kmart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You trust and believe that yeah, shit. Yeah. That's just a sad reality of it, man. A lot of them rather suck some wiener and work and, you mean, go stock, stock a shelf or something. Absolutely. They say, they say I roll around in a fish. Bowl. A lot of you dudes would suck a wiener like instead of going to stock a shelf or something. No fish out here. Like, it's, it's <laughs> to you up. It ain't just them. Like, I'm on your ass. It's one of the most dangerous blocks. Like I said, it's a rainy day in the hood right now. Come on, nigga. Come on. Come on. Pull up right here.
The shooting happened just after 11 outside that store on Bissonette, right near Court Glen. This pop your shit. This a blog about Bissonette. That murder block, nigga, know what it is. It's 9700. It's 9700. Slump block. Oh, no crap. Slump block. You got 9700 tied on you as well? A couple of times. Yeah, I'm right here. Yeah, right Southwest 9700. I'm right there, baby. Yeah. You're really representing, man. I've been out here since I was, what, nine years old, nigga? I'm 34. You got a PhD in training, Since bro. nine? I mean, How old? Oh, wait. I gotta do that. Wait, he's 37 and he's been out there since nine. Bunch of fucking money out here. On the other side, they pimping hoes down here. We throwing rocks at cars. We throwing rocks at cars. That's 28 years. But this corner here a little bit different from that corner. He really out there. That corner down there, you gonna see a lot of blue on. You gonna see a lot of homies that strong woman or female for their money. Nah, cause he really out there. You got niggas who gonna talk to a nice for the money like myself. And you got niggas who gonna wish the snipes for the money. You see what I'm saying? That means physically, yang <laughs> yang, I need that. Debo in him. You hear me? Whereas I hear a nigga gonna get it all off his fist. You see what I'm saying? Everything he got it within his hand, that's what's gonna fill his pocket up. You think some of the, the pimps on Bissonette like aware of like the internet pimp games? I feel like that's a lucrative market. Only fans managing girls and stuff, or they don't do any of that. What y'all think, gang? Eh? You got the illegals that ain't going online. They don't speak no English. All they yeah. know is pull up on Bissonette, get them a hoe and go. They keep it simple. That, that's all that's how some people know. It's international. And it's sad, but it's true, man. Some of these young girls out here, like he say, don't even know English. A lot of them, bro, don't even really just know themselves. They ain't even gathered their personality. If it's Texas, they probably 16, Spanish. 15 years old, man. And that's sad to say because it's pedophilia, but that's what go on out here on this corner. Why y'all go and drive? Go on 15, 16. How many happened at this stove just this year? That's how many things happen? That's young. Just go look. I mean, 10, it's young. Don't but know. you could go younger, that but that's them. hanging out in an area where there's so much shooting? Oh, that shit don't scare me. I grew up around this shit. I was in the army six years. I've been in Iraq, Afghanistan. This ain't shit. So nothing scares you? Nah, nothing. What's he been to the... He been in I, I Iraq know. and Afghanistan, yeah, and he's what still out here on these he's streets. Where his he benefits at? No IRS, man. Look at how he's stancing on us. They got security guards up here at this store as we speak, as y'all can see. Iraq he's and Afghanistan, bro. Should be chilling, cooling in the burb somewhere. They got some mild cop shit going on now. He ain't getting no benefits. We got one day, if you ain't got a girlfriend, bro, we got one day go Or the streets got better benefits. You don't like rub joints? You gotta invite your brody. First and foremost, I will... Huh. Beat off. Yeah, you'll give him a, a run for her money. You hear me? She had to change arms. She had been that motherfucker choking, beating the shit out of this hamster. <laughs> you hear me? Now we on the block. You dig? Oh. You ready? You go back through that block, leave a mess. I always know this. I don't give a fuck how gangster niggas think they is or how cool niggas think they is. When you out here on the block, it's always one young nigga out of the 10 young niggas that don't need to be out here. How old you here, little brother? You too fly, nigga. Even if you thug and then you too fly, nigga. You see me? This young nigga don't need to be out here. It's the little <laughs> shit. It's the little <laughs> shit that take. He know what time it is. He you too fly. You got hustlers in the hood. You got athletes. And we all wanted to go to the NBA. Ain't that right, Gucci, bitch? Oh, yo, I didn't even peep, bro. Got <laughs> one dread on his side. Thug, yo, Texas is a scary shit. place, man. Because Yellow BZ got, got that ready. thing on the back of his head. So what's your experience about this shit, my nigga? And now bro got this thing on the money. side of his head. Let me tell about some money. Do you hear him? You know what the f*** going on, nigga. Yeah, nigga. Niggas been, niggas been thugging on this hoe since we was just on guard, nigga. And my first time meeting, bro, we was some young niggas on guard. Just coming out to school, nigga. Thugging on the block. But you're 14. ain't about none of that tough man ass shit, you know what I mean? There's always two sides every corner. That was like probably like eight. Exactly. Which one of y'all want to go to NBA or NFL? That's what I want to do. Linebacker. Oh, he hard, nigga. <laughs> he talking about, hey, K Groove. We in the hood, bro, so our coaches at our school yeah. were selling us fake Jordans. This is facts. That's crazy. I swear to God, my, bas my basketball coach at Hollow Middle School sold me a fake pair of Jordans. Whether he knew they was real or fake or not, he said he can get them. Let me go get them, man. They gave me some foo foo fummies. <laughs> Our hood ain't really even 60 years old. Like, you really never meet a nigga older than 50 saying he from A-Leaf, you feel what I'm saying? Like, all, most of us, bro, our mamas ain't even from really, really from out here. Like, our daddies and mamas from another hood. Like, our hood really uh, a place that adopted all us, you feel me? No, no nigga out here could say they grandpa from A-Leaf. The young niggas really don't know how to do nothing but bump they head. Joy Road, bitch, but the money long is six mile, break mile, knock your ass down. Now we're entering the area where you can actually, like, uh, you know, get down so, by a girl. It's usually more active. It was a rainy day. They usually be out here even during the rainy day. So my top 10 is a few different combinations of things that had the big <laughs> scared to come outside. Outside, excuse it, me. It was pouring down rain. Yeah, a little, little drizzle, a little drizzle on the wheels. 
How many girls could be out here in one <laughs> night? Drizzle on the whistle. 20 girls out here every night. 20 to 50 girls out here every night. 20 to 50? Damn, cuz. Cool. Everything I That's a lot of poon tang. On one street. Gangsters. Googleable gangsters. First and foremost, y'all rocking with the naturally, man. They call me D Flowers. And we back on Bishon Lit with it. We went and had a little brief lunch break. This is considered to be the blade. And it's not the movie with the motherfucking vampire, the Daywalker. This is for the Night Stalkers. So this is not cars. vampire. This is not Wesley Snipes. Has fallen upon us, and we're gonna not see that what, type uh, of blade. Wesley is uh, notorious for. Hey, it's the ones, the prosties. Hey, how y'all doing? And what's your name? First and the only know. slang going on is that. All I want to know from you, bae, and why are you out here on Bishonette? If you don't mind me asking. Oh, I'm out here because I got a house. I pay rent, car note, insurance. They took four pimps to jail last night. Four pimps went to jail last night? Yeah. So basically, all the peas and all the players, all the niggas that's pimping is going to jail out here on this and that right and now. they giving niggas life for that shit. God bless. Life? Really, really sentence niggas. Niggas getting life for pimping, for sure. Yeah, Several that's, that's, niggas. That's human trafficking. As of September 1st, 2021, Texas became the only state in America to make soliciting a prostitute a felony, punishable by up to two years in jail. How many men you know have already got sentenced? I'm not going to lie, yo. Life? I might risk those I mean, two years a little bit. Maybe. Cases back to back. You got to catch it. Uh, maybe. Uh, you got her right talking right like, Come on, man. It's just it's energy. A man. crazy Our night. Mm, I don't know, bro. It's been on her mind. Who knows? I ain't anyone. telling you nothing. Mr. Buckingham showing I ain't saying nothing. Out of her. Yeah. I'm just naturally the host of the day. You see <laughs> what I'm saying? Absolutely. She didn't look too rough either. She didn't, she didn't look like she was a crackhead or nothing. Guess what? They never crack is. All these women out here be beautiful, bro. And that's no cap on it. All Even of them like beautiful? The stereotype of prostitutes is like crackheads. Because I'm, I'm, I'm picturing, I'm imagining, I was imagining like a crackhead. Or a meth head walking up. Women out there. Look, pull in, pull in, pull that pull wasn't pull a crackhead, y'all. I know Don't a crackhead when I see one. Middle, I like that walk, man. I okay, let's see he scares me if he's capping or not. Friend, let me sneeze on her. Turn that way. She tripping. She twirling. Yeah, her, she her whole ass is out right now. She was sucking on a lollipop with her, her whole ass out. <laughs> I like the way you said that. <laughs> <laughs> with a whole ass out like down the street on me, but sucking on a lollipop. You know what's so crazy, brother? No cap, she was showing, that's they way of showing out. When they walk straight past and get fly, that's their, it's called twirling. She twirling, like she just, she like, hmm. Twirling? Dad, that's how she, I could, we, if we, if I, what's up? Come grab this money though. <laughs> she gonna walk, she said her ass out here. She ain't hard to get. She's gotta act like that because she trying to eliminate all the bullshit. Your face got so serious when you said that. Hey, but come get this money though. Like your face. <laughs> I'm serious. Oh, yeah. Then that then shit come out of me. But guess what? I don't got nothing to give her. Yeah, my name Natural, dude. I don't pay for the punani. He talking about he get it for free? Listen, I might buy some panini, but I will never give you the fettuccine. Okay. What that mean, though? Panini. Man, this street right here used to be five to six girls on one street. They, I mean, but they still here. I swear Bro, a demon. The only thing they do is he buy it but never pay. Like That's a riddle right, right there. The I need the like I need the answer. Like Chat. Come out like sad say, but nah, that one ain't that yeah, tough. That's not tough. Britches, uh, that girl's not tough. No pants on. No. I'm I'm say, sorry, say Chat. That, baby. My love, my love. You must don't want a dollar for a holler. Trust and believe I don't want none of these shorties. I'm trying to get them to speak their life. The majority of these dudes out here, honestly, some. Let me just get you out of the game. In all reality, if a pimp sends a prostitute out the house. Majority of them tell the woman, do not stop or talk to no young men, especially young black men. Young black men don't buy pussy. So if I was an Asian man, Indian man, white man, they would stop. It's racism amongst prostitution, trust and believe. It's yeah? not that they saying, oh, I did no, not know that. Black. They're just smart enough to know that. It's no reason a young black man will buy pussy. Why don't they buy pussy? Because they'll just rather take you to fucking Benny Hanna. Or... We know how to spend money and get what we want instead of just give you money. Whereas a lot of working men don't have time and they have wives at home. Majority of the young black dudes coming out here, not me, majority of them are trying to be pimps. They're not trying to be tricks. Now, see, if I said that, people might Okay, be okay. No, nah, but you can say it right now. If I said, like, the majority of pimps are black, they could be like, that's racist. No, he just said majority of pimps are black. That was kind of racist. Let me stop that. No, majority of <laughs> pimps are black. Majority of fucking tricks are white. And me and my boy be booking and agree on that solidly. And, like, it's the truth, bro. If you want to... The check the stats, man. Somebody got to check the stats on this. We got to get the facts truth. right. Is he telling the truth? Because like, I feel like he is. That serious. Um, maybe you should be a most pimps are black and most tricks are white. Like you don't pay a prostitute to bang him. You pay a prostitute to leave after. 
that's a player way of looking at life. <laughs> While we were filming on Bissonette, a blacked out car with their lights off pulled up next to us, and D Flowers told the driver to leave immediately. Pull out, pull out, sir. Go straight. That ain't that car behind us. So we're essentially dipping away from a possible op. Not an op. A, a dumb motherfucker that want to get shot at. The thing is, oh, once you make two right. with me, you getting shot at. Period. It's just a rule. They could be a pimp. Don't like the fact that someone in this room, and I'm going to pop whoever. I hate to say it, but I'm not going to think twice. That's on every dollar I would rather. If I got to shoot at somebody tonight, Lord forbid, God, if that's what you need me to do, Lord forbid, to protect me. See, this is a real street guy right, right here. And then we ain't got to ask questions. He ain't got no pics, no none of that, like man. Everything I fucking love. He got two, two times, boy. It ain't this. no joke. That's, that was that him in that restaurant? I put it on my kids. I would rather just get the shit out the way and then proceed with the interview. On that note, I decided it was best to wrap up the video and conclude filming for the night. We signing off, man, for the Bissonette episode. D Flowers is the reason we're out here in Bissonette, bro. Go check out all his shit. It'll all be linked in the description. Yeah, I know y'all dealing with the most natural, man. Check out any music, all music. And we got into hella shit, so if you guys want to see the extended cut, it's on Patreon, as always. Appreciate bro, got a voice for, like, next week. Hey, man, say, man, TV or something. Going on, man? Too tired of motherfucking lock up. Ain't no more free too tired. And lock up ain't dead. Niggas just went fed. Free the locks, the motherfucking movement. Y'all got guns with the fuck I shoot, nigga. Hustle, grind, clear, get a check. Well, that was crazy, man. As y'all can see, Brandon really be in the trenches, bro. That wasn't no skit. That wasn't a rehearsal. None of that. They they really out there on the, in the trenches with the the prosties and whatnot. What, did, what what street was that? Wait, somebody find that. Where is that? Send me that. Um, send me that thing where he was talking about in the. Where's that street name? But someone is for a friend.